Jim, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you again. Lily, it's my great honor to be with you again. Thank you. Well, okay, let's get right into it. What is the next phase of this program now? What can we expect to see? You know, Lily, we are at the dawn of a new space age. And why? Because President Trump got us here. He really lit a fire under NASA. And, you know, I think about it. There hasn't been a president like him since John F. Kennedy. And here we are. We've done an end-to-end -end flight test on a public-private par public partnership with SpaceX. And now we're going to certify the capsule and the rocket. And on October 23rd, we're going to launch the first crewed mission. There will be four astronauts, and they're going to be going to the space station. We've really created a commercial transportation system to low Earth orbit. That's really the next step. And this we really want to basically end up with space stations that are commercial in low Earth orbit and have this space transportation system going back and forth because there's so much research and development that needs to be done in microgravity. That's right. It's pretty exciting to see this uh, commercial air travel. You know, you mentioned it's going to be happening October 23rd. That's the first we're hearing about it. So that's the official date now we know. So tell us a little bit more about the launch itself. And you said it's going to be on the 23rd. How can people watch it? You know, you can watch it on NASA TV for sure. Uh, and we have end to end coverage at NASA TV. Uh, and it will be, uh, you know, again, we have not sent up four astronauts ever. So this is going to be a first again for NASA. We try to do the impossible and we continue to do it. And you think about it, in the middle of COVID, uh, we haven't stopped. And again, this is at the direction, you know, of President Trump getting, telling us to get to the moon by 2024. We have so many things going on. But it's really the workforce at NASA and our partners like SpaceX, they just won't give up. And uh, it doesn't matter whether we're in a pandemic or not. Uh, I have more challenges of trying pe getting people to, you know, not go to work to be safe at times. Uh, I want them to go to work, but uh, we have to be safe, and that's our number one priority. Yeah, speaking about safety and, of course, uh, all of, you know, it's just been a historic year there for NASA, even during the pandemic. Now, there was an invite extended to the media for the launch, even with the ongoing pandemic. You're trying to make sure that everyone really gets to see such a historic moment. What does the agency hope to accomplish by providing this exclusive access to news networks as opposed to the coverage that NASA might be able to provide? You know, again, normally we would do it if we weren't in a pandemic. And we'll have social distancing so that it's it's safe for everyone, it, you know, that, that is able to come. Uh, but we really want to, you know, we have, we need the support of the American people. There's this is, this is not easy to do, and it also costs money. And we're in the middle of trying to get an appropriation uh, in Congress right now, and it's so important that we keep going forward. We're not going to be able to do that unless we are able to get those funds. So again, we need America's support to keep moving forward in space exploration. And speaking of moving forward, you have mentioned this partnership with SpaceX. Now, SpaceX also teamed up with mass and space systems for a mission to the moon. Now, the mission set to bring Masson's lunar lander and nine NASA sponsored payloads to the moon. I'm not sure how much you can tell us about this, but I was trying to hopefully get a little bit more information. What can you tell us about the partnership and this mission? You know, right now we have got, uh, really we've got three different uh, companies that are working to see what a human landing system will look like. That's really the hardest part of landing on the moon or on Mars. And again, the things we're doing on the moon are precursor missions in preparation to go to Mars as we've been directed by President Trump. So that's really what we're trying to do. Now we're going to see what these companies come up with and from there we'll decide what's the safest and the best way to get to land on the moon. Uh, and again, it, back in Apollo days, that was the hardest part. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.